All right, my friends, we're gonna look at three different ways to write the equation of a line. These are three forms for the equation of a line. What we're gonna do is find the line that goes through the point zero, five, and one, eight, and we're gonna write that same line three different ways. The first way is called the slope-intercept form. This is the one I've used the most in my career, and I think you'll see this most often. Um, and so the reason it's called slope-intercept form is this character M is the slope of the line. And then the character B is the y-intercept, or where the y-coordinate where um, this thing crosses the, uh, the y-axis. And so what we're going to do is put it in this form. So the first thing we'll do is look at the slope of the line that goes through these two points. And of course, slope is the rise over the run, or the change in the y-coordinate over the change in the x-coordinate. And so if you look at the change in the y-coordinate, what we've done is we've gone from five to eight, so we've gone up by three, okay? So you could say eight minus five is the change in the y-coordinate, um, otherwise known as three, over the change in the x-coordinate. And we've gone from zero to one, and so our change in the x-coordinate as well, we've just gone up, um, over by one. And so the slope of this line then is just gonna be three. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, so where x equals zero, well, we're given that point. So this is, the y-intercept then is just uh, y, equals, y equals five um, at, a, at a coordinate of x equals zero. So the y-intercept, b, is just five. Well, now that we have the slope, m, and the y-intercept, b, we can just plug it back into this form and we have our equation of our y. So y equals three, x plus 5, and that is the equation of the line that goes through those two points in slope-intercept form. Now that we have both of these things, we have the slope um, and the intercept, it turns out it's pretty easy to write this other form. What this is called is a point-slope form. You'll recognize the slope from what we just did. And then the reason it's called point-slope is these coordinates x1 and y1 are just any point that happens to be on the line. Well, so straight away from looking at our work we've done here, we already know that the slope here is three. And then all we need to do is put in for x1 and y1, a point that's on the line. Well, an easy point to use is zero, five. And so what we can do then is say, well, y minus five, we're being careful to realize that that's the y coordinate, um, equals three, which is the slope, times x minus zero. And so you could leave it like that. That's one way to write this in point-slope form. We could also have used the other point. So in this case, there's actually kind of two ways we could write it. You could write it as, if we use the point 1, 8, we could also write this as y minus 8 equals, the slope is still 3, x minus 1. And so both of these are correct equations. Um, that describe the line that goes through those two points. The final form is what's called, that we're going to look at today anyway, is called standard form, and it looks like this. Um, a number times x plus a number times y equals another number. A, B, and C are just constants, and you try to set it up so that they aren't fractions. Um, it turns out it's pretty easy to get it into this shape. Um, if you already have, say, this one, um, all we need to do is, say, bring the x um, the term of the x over to the other side. So if you subtracted 3x from what we started with, so for example, let me just rewrite it. So we have y equals 3x plus 5 here. Let's just subtract 3x from both sides. So you get minus 3x um, plus y equals 5. And you could just leave it like that. Um, so that's one possible answer. Um, or the whole thing, say, multiplied by a neg by negative one, you can multiply both sides by negative one, another reasonable answer or possible answer. So I'm gonna put or, you could get um, three x minus y equals negative five. So both of these would be fine. Um, both of these are correct for matching this form of a, of a line, what's called standard form. I think you'll see this one the most often. Um, hopefully that helps, and uh, thanks for watching.